Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this highlight and contour routine using all drugstore products. This is a very, very beginner friendly highlight and contour routine. It is what I do when I wanna achieve a very natural skin-like finish. It's not like those complicated Instagram tutorials where there's stripes all over your face and then somehow you have to try to blend it all out. This is a very easy version. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. For foundation today, I am going to go in with the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation and I am in the color 30. So this product does give you pretty full coverage. I would say medium to full depending on how you apply it. So what I like to do is kind of just tap it in these areas and literally that was one dip into the product with my beauty blender and you can spread it out everywhere so i like that because usually with cushion foundations if they don't have a lot of coverage you have to really dip in a bunch of times and cushion foundations don't have a lot of product in them for concealer today i'm going to be using the covergirl better skin better no super stay better skin concealer and I'm not going to apply a lot of this. I'm only going to apply some right here under my eyes. Just where I have dark circles. Right there. Again, I'm going to take the beauty blender and I'm going to very lightly push that in. The lighter you press with your beauty blender, like the less pressure you use, the more coverage will remain. So I just really lightly press this and I kind of take it outwards like this and then down this way. That way it doesn't look like you've only applied product under your eyes. Now if you want to use your concealer as highlight, just make sure that the shade is one to two shades lighter than your foundation. So I'm going to put it... down the nose like this and in this area. This is going to highlight the center of your face and kind of bring these features forward. Highlighting down the bridge of your nose like this makes your nose look thinner. And again, I'm just gonna pounce this in using very light pressure with my Beauty Blender. The cool thing about this tutorial is I literally use the Beauty Blender for pretty much every step. So it's, it's an easy routine and you don't have to worry about having like a shit ton of brushes, which is really nice. Okay, so next, this might be a little bit out of order for some people, but I like to apply my highlight before my contour because I like it to look like the highlight is kind of underneath the contour. I don't like putting on contour and then having highlight cover my contour, if that makes any sense. So I'm using the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. This is the iridescent color, so it's a really pretty... Um, pink color like a white pink color I guess you could say and this is very creamy so you can take it right on your face I like to just go in because this product is so easy to use and I like to do it in a bit of a C motion like this so down and up like this towards the end of your eyebrow and then again I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm going to very lightly press in that highlight. All you have to do is make slow light pouncing motions like this. You don't have to rub it, you don't have to, you know, do anything like that. This product blends in like butter. I also like to take that highlight and go down the center of the nose. I make a very thin line. I don't like to make it too thick because that's gonna make your nose look wider. Again, with the Beauty Blender, we're just going to tap all that in. 
Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Master Contour Stick. This is the one that has um, the cream highlight on one side and then the contour on the other side. So you don't have to use this side if you already went in with that concealer and you're happy with the coverage. I'm going to apply a little bit just so you guys can see what it looks like. So I kind of take it from down the nose like this and then across like that. This is called the triangle of light. So when light is shining down, these features would come out. So that's why that that's where you would want to highlight. Also, if you take that cream highlight and put it against your nose like this, it contours your nose. It's kind of like a reverse contouring. I'm going to set my face in the slightest way possible. And again, the best way to do that is with a beauty blender. Go into any powder that you like. I'm just using this Bare Minerals one that I have lying right here. So what I do is I just take a little bit onto the tip of my beauty blender and I'm only wanting to set right under my eye, right here and along the nose. So now we're gonna go in with the contour side, Whoop, yep, the contour side of the stick. And what I like to do is, so, the best way to contour is suck in your cheeks, feel for your cheekbone, and you're wanna gonna go right underneath the cheekbone. Now, since this is cream contouring, you don't wanna put it right in the hollow just in case you blend it downwards um, because then it can start to look a little bit messy. So for me, I go a little bit higher. I start at the tip of the ear right here. and then make a line. You'll see that I stop the line about right here. If you drag it down too far, it's just gonna look very, very obvious. And I also don't like keeping it just one line. I go like this and kinda put two small lines on top so it just doesn't look like a straight line going down your face. It's more blended. It'll go from light to kinda the darkest. So the best way to do this I've found is to squeeze the butt of your beauty blender, suck in and just tap it out. You'll see I'm working in small padding upwards motions. And what I do, instead of taking it straight back, I kind of blend it and then go like this upwards. So blend and upwards. So that's a very soft contour. I think it looks really natural. You don't want your contour to look obvious, you guys. I mean, it's beautiful for pictures and stuff, but if you want to do this in real life, you don't want someone to be able to see where your contour, it's just supposed to look like a shadow. I also take that contour around the perimeters like this and on my jawline because it just doesn't make sense to have shadow on one part of your face and then not on the other. Again, with the Beauty Blender, you just tap the product in. And do you see how easy the stuff blends out? I mean, it takes almost no effort. I also like to take it on the sides of my nose. And this is much easier than kind of drawing it all in the beginning and then trying to blend it out and trying not to mix the colors. I just feel like if you do it step by step, one at a time, it's a lot easier and I, I just feel like it looks better. Unless you're a really big expert and you know that's easy for you, it's just not easy for me to do it that way. Now, if you feel like you got a little bit messy with your contour, you feel like it doesn't look sharp enough, go in with that cream side and go right underneath the contour. This can help clean it up so it looks a little bit more sharp. 
I usually don't do this. Um, I'm going to do it for the video purposes just so you guys can see what it looks like. I kind of like having it not look too sharp and defined, but this is a really good way to kind of clean up the contour if you think it got too far down. And that just cleans it up a little bit, makes it look a little bit more sharp. So I'm going to take that cream highlighting stick and I'm going to draw some right here. I know that looks like a lot, but um, this product, even if you put a lot of it on, it never looks like that. You can see like when you blend it out, it never looks harsh. I'm going to go put on a little bit of mascara and then I'll be right back. So I would normally just keep it at this because I love the dewy, almost wet skin look. But if you have a lot to do that day or you're very sweaty or oily, um, you can set the makeup a little bit. You can just go over the contour with a little bit of bronzer. Um, I'll just show you guys for the purpose of the video. This is Physicians Formula's Butter Bronzer. So I'm just going to go in with a MAC brush and I'm going to lightly go over that cream. This will set it in place so it doesn't move all day. You can see I'm patting the cream, I mean the powder on. I'm not swiping it and this will make sure that you're not moving anything underneath. Okay you guys, so that is the tutorial on how I contour and highlight. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, maybe learned a tip or two. And please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!